you have to accept that these competing desires are still going to be there. They're still part of this journey that you're taking, right? You can't get away from that, you know? The desire doesn't disappear overnight. That conflict doesn't disappear overnight. You know, it really is a tale of two different desires. It's a tale of change versus comfort. You know, which one do you want to keep? Which desire do you want to keep? There is always going to be a conflict in the beginning, always. You just can't help that there's an ambiguity, right? And that ambiguity creates a tension because you've got these two competing desires. On the one hand, you've got a desire for change. You've got a desire to do the things that you want to do. I think we all have a drive for purpose in life. We all want to do something. We all want to try and get to that best possible version of ourselves. And that becomes really apparent, I think, mostly when we're not doing the right things, when we're feeling the consequences of not doing those right things, you know, when you're feeling shit because of the alcohol that you're drinking. And then on the other side of it, you've got the desire to remain in the comfort zone, right? It's the comfort of familiar territory, right? Of familiar thinking, of familiar behavior. It's the comfort of doing the same old, same old, and knowing that, you know, this is default, it's default behavior. Now, even after you stop the flow, you have to accept that these competing desires are still going to be there. They're still part of this journey that you're taking, right? You can't get away from that, you know? The desire doesn't disappear overnight. That conflict doesn't disappear overnight. They're still going to be there. They're still going to be walking that path with you, right? Both of them together. How you approach them is, um, think about it like a fire. You've got two different types of, or two different fires on the go. Um, which one are you going to feed? And that's what it comes down to. Which desire are you going to feed? Which one are you going to let go hungry? And what I mean by that is, you know, if you think in one direction, if you behave in one direction, that is the direction that you're going to go. What you focus on in life is what you get. So it is what it is. Um, if you're looking for, if you want to walk this journey with me, if you want my help, habitsv2.com. Take care. I'm going to put Bye now.